Glass has become one of the most popular building materials used today because of its many aesthetic options combined with outstanding performance. However, designing with glass requires special considerations during the selection and specification process. Today we'll provide an overview of the primary factors that need to be addressed when specifying glass. There are additional videos in the Education Center on specific topics. The topics we'll cover today are safety, energy and sustainable design, surface orientation, color shift, wind and snow loads, thermal stress and aesthetics and mock-ups. We'll begin by talking about safety, which is the most important consideration for any project. Safety glazing materials such as tempered or laminated glass must be specified where required by specific building codes or the designer's judgment based on the glass's use. The next consideration is energy efficiency and sustainable design. Since Vitro Architectural Glass, formerly PPG Glass, introduced the world's first energy efficient glass more than 70 years ago, we have been a leader in the advancement of glass technology designed to enhance comfort and save energy. Solarban and Sungate coated glasses, in addition to our spectrally sensitive tints, can have a significant impact on HVAC costs and carbon emissions. We are the first U.S. glass manufacturer to have our entire product line cradle-to-cradle -cradle certified, demonstrating our commitment to the environment through a building's life cycle. Next is surface orientation. As flat glass is produced in the float glass process, it ends up with a tin side that contacted the liquid tin and an air side. When darker tinted glass, such as gray light tube glass is specified, it is critical that the glass be fabricated and glazed with a consistent surface orientation in order to achieve a consistent appearance. The next consideration is color shift. A transmitted and reflected color shift can result when various coatings and tints such as low emissivity coating, an opacifier coating, or a tinted inner layer material, among other things, are incorporated into the glass design. In addition, a coating used in an insulated glass unit can appear different than if that same coating is used in a laminated application. It is even more pronounced if clear glass is combined with a light color opacifier coating or interlayers. That's why for color consistency, Vitro recommends using the same glass product construction throughout a project. Let's move on to wind and snow loads. The appropriate glass thickness and type, whether it's annealed, heat strengthened or tempered glass, must be specified to resist the designed wind and snow loads that a project will face. The industry recognizes ASTM E1300 as the standard for determining load, and we provide more information on this standard in our Education Center video titled, Designing Glass to Resist Wind and Snow Loads. Now let's talk about thermal stress. Strength in glass, whether heat strengthened or tempered, may be required to resist thermally induced stresses in a specified glazing. These stresses are caused by a number of design factors, including the glass type and size, shading patterns, indoor shading devices, and other design variables. If these factors aren't considered, they can and will lead to glass breakage. We have a more detailed video available titled, Preventing Thermal Stress Breakage, if you'd like to learn more. Vitro also offers information and a thermal stress analysis tool to help design professionals evaluate the risk at vitroglazings.com. Lastly, we will review aesthetics and mock-ups. Vitro's broad selection of glass products, including clear, low iron, and tinted glasses, can be used as standalone products or combined to create deeper and richer hues and improved performance. Many additional aesthetic, energy-efficient solutions can be achieved by including a Vitro high-performance glass coating in the design. Add in a custom fabrication, ceramic fritz and laminates, and the choices are virtually limitless. That's why, before finalizing your design, we always recommend viewing a full-size mock-up. Today, we covered the main considerations involved when selecting or specifying glass, including safety, energy and sustainable design, surface orientation, color shift, wind and snow loads, thermal stress, and aesthetics and mock-ups. Keeping these and other factors in mind will help ensure an aesthetically amazing project that also delivers top-of-the-line performance. For more information about any of these topics, including related technical documents, please visit vitroglazings.com.
or call 855-VTRO-GLS, 855-887-6457.